All right, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about my time trial training. Now my, my big goal of the season has finished, which was bucks 25. So I just thought I'd go over how the training went in the two months um, leading up from basically riding my TT bike for the, well, first time after Christmas holidays where I was back at home and didn't have access to it, uh, to riding my TT um, in the 25 mile TT. So first of all, we'll just go over to Strava. And uh, so 20 minutes for my TT bike, this was done on the 9th of February. Pretty cold day out, zero degrees, not ideal. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically the effort and um, we did 295 watts for 20 minutes. Okay, I did a UE halfway through, so it could have been slightly higher, but 298 on the way at, way there, came to the roundabout and waxed 288 on the way home. So a little bit tough, but anyway, not bad numbers, quite happy about that to be honest. Um, and my threshold on the road at that time was about 320. Um, I haven't really retested on the road. When I did, I slightly messed it up, uh, but I think my road bike threshold has probably gone up like five or so watts maybe a little bit higher, but we're gonna see what happened on the on the TT bike. So then we'll go through my training. So first of all, uh, this week was just really easy and just these over-unders. So you can see basically what we do is we just go over 45 seconds really hard, 20 seconds, no, sorry, two minutes, 15, quite easy. Um, so these were just like tw uh, 12 minutes. Um, and then you can see we started doing five times eight minutes at threshold or just above. And then did four times 12 minutes and then moved up to like four times 15 minutes. Um, and you can see threshold kept on going up as well. Um, we did a bit of sweet spot efforts here as well um, on my road bike, which is a bit interesting. Um, this week I was gonna do an FTP test, but actually just didn't really feel great. So just had an easy week. Um, and then again, um, we didn't do another, we, well, we didn't do a 20 minute test. I just rode out because I thought there was no point doing one. I didn't think I'd improve that much in four weeks, uh, in three weeks, sorry. Um, so I did some spiked efforts here. So basically just like, Froome's done these efforts so you basically just go really hard for the first two minutes and then the rest at tempo um, so those were done at sort of 280 watts so pretty solid um, but nothing crazy um, I did some five times eight minutes some sweet spots and some over-unders as well on this week um, which were pretty good you can see we're getting more and more PRs as well which is always nice to see so these things on training peaks um, down here mean you you know you're doing better so this was quite a breakout did 295 watts for 20 minutes in my over-under efforts so I was like that obviously means I'm going pretty well because that was my best 20 minute power before. Um, and I did some some efforts around here as well, um, which were good. So anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, and we just basically rode my TT bike the whole whole of this week, which is good. Did some 30 15s for the first time, hit some my best 10 minute powers, did 322 watts for 10 minutes. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, quite happy with that. Um, and this week was actually quite a tough week. I did three times 10 minutes as well. Um, on the weekend, so pretty tough, but on the road bike, so not too bad. Um, the following week, again, just you can see that the pattern here is just over unders and five times eights, and then a bit of uh, 30 15s before my first 10 mile race. So, we did my first 10 mile race here, which was pretty good for me. Um, binned a minute and a half off my PB. This is my position, it's not the best. My head, head needs to go down, it's not terrible for sure, but it's not ideal. Uh, if you've got any comments, I think why well, I, I haven't got a great side on picture yet. Um, there is actually something on my Instagram about it. I made a little reel about it, so you can see it there. But um, my Instagram is below, obviously. Love it. And same my Strava. My Strava is also below. And while we're here, whack a subscription, very much appreciated. So anyway, back to the video. Yeah, position is not un unreal, but it's not terrible. So I did 315 watts um, and average 44 kilometers an hour. So not bad. Like I know I can probably whack out a couple more watts. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, and then that was the week before. I did my 25 mile TT, um, so I uh, I got locked out of my house. I was supposed to do four hours today, but I couldn't do it, um, which was annoying, but not too bad. Um, so I did a recovery ride. I did a couple sort of efforts on the TT bike, um, which were good. Um, oh no, sorry, actually, this was my 20 minute effort up the tumble, actually. I just went out and whacked it. Went a little bit too hard. Only averaged 332, but I did like 350 for the first 10, so not greatly paced. Um, then I did some Strava efforts down here, which were good. Um, just, you know, some high intensity on the TT bike and then just really going easy before the big day. So we'll go over to Strava for the big day itself. 290 normalized for 56 minutes is not, not too shabby at all. Average 43K an hour or close enough. Um, and like, it was good. Like, I mean, it, it depends on the, on the metrics you're gonna use. So I managed to get my 20 minute power to like my 56 minute power in eight weeks. So that's quite good. That's like 5% increase or so roughly. So that's, that's not bad, that's not bad. Um, and then if you think about this alone, it was going from 295 to 315. So 21 increase in, in eight weeks. That's not shabby either. Like that's, you know, if you could continue that all year, you'd be, you'd be onto something. 
Obviously, a lot of that was more me getting used to the position. So I stretched pretty much every single day um, in March. Um, I, February was a bit rubbish, but March pretty much stretched every day um, and you know rolled a lot and just got used to the position. And that really helped. So I'd say that was probably how I got used to it. And I rode my TT bike a lot. I rode it twice. Every single day I did efforts. I did it on my TT bike and both recovery days I normally do on my TT bike as well. Um, so that definitely helped. So I gained 20 watts on my 20 minute power. So that's pretty good. Can't deny that. Um, and like, you know, 320 on the way out to, and then on the way back I did 315. So pretty strong, like probably more like 317 if you didn't have the little pause in the middle. In terms of this though, maybe I didn't do as well. And I'm gonna go into this like, okay, so obviously I wanted to win a medal, which is basically like the best chance was top three commutative times. Um, but the three lads in my uni actually did get the bronze medal and they bin me by a minute and a half was the, slow, the lad who was slowest and then the other two bin me by way more. Um, so the question I guess you've got to ask is like, could I have reached that? So you think physiologically, people say uh, like, you know, 20 minute power to hour power is 5% less, okay? And mine is definitely not 5% less. Um, so if we will get rid of this Strava one, but I mean, 290, we're gonna say normalized. Yeah, okay, we can say 288, it doesn't really matter. But 290 divided by, oh, that's always the wrong one. Um, yeah, no, it's not actually right. 290 divided by 315 is 92%. So you can see here that I'm not that efficient aerobically. Like, it's weird. I do a lot of hours and I feel like I don't get tired. Like I can ride four hours zone two, no worries. But I think doing that real high intensity for such a long time, maybe I'm not great at. And my strategy, if you looked at it, was to do a lot of short efforts. I looked, I looked at the research and looked at what people said, and they said do polarized efforts, do really high intensity, which is what I was doing. You know, five times eight over threshold, twenty minutes over unders um, at sort of goal pace ish. But maybe the maybe I just didn't do enough sort of like half an hour blocks of getting used to it, because like that's quite a big drop off. Like. You'd expect I should be able to do maybe 300 because I tapered for this as well. So you think like, okay, on, on my 10 mile TT, I didn't have a hard week. I did 30 15s, five times eight. So, okay, not an impossible week. I did a double day here and did some pretty good numbers on this ride actually. I did like 290 for 20, but I did some okay numbers. Um, so it's a pretty good double day here. 30 15s were really good actually. Some of my best ever power. I did 326 watts for 10 minutes, like over unders, which is pretty solid. Um, if we actually look at this file, it's some of my best ever numbers I've done on 3015s. So normalized there is 340, but average was, I think, a little bit less, maybe 336. So you think, in that sense, like that week was quite hard. Um, so maybe I, sh like, I should have done better, like 336, 333, and then 324 is pretty, is pretty strong. Like you can't deny that. So maybe the point is this, is that I tapered for bucks 25, and I didn't do as well, like percentage wise, like I didn't, I did maybe 8% less on my, my threshold or maybe it should have been close to 5%, which is like 10 watts maybe, maybe 10 watts less than I did. Like in terms of pacing, we can go through the pacing. So the first bit, I did 294 watts for the first 24 minutes and I felt like I was holding back, like I didn't think I was going that hard. And then for this bit, I did 283. And I think the bit where I really slackened off a bit was here. I did like 280 there. On the last bit, I actually upped it to back to 290. So maybe, but then I don't think I could have given that much heart more, but I think I find it, I know mentally, I find it sometimes quite hard to really push myself for the full hour. But anyway, those are sort of my thoughts so far. Like I think from where I came from, that's not bad. Like considering that basically my, ro my on my TT bike, I did 295 watts and then I managed to gain 20 watts. Like that's not bad. So I guess the point is, is that I just had came from a low base. Like if you think this time last year, my best 20 minute power was probably three, 300 on a road bike on a climb. And now it's 315 on a TT bike. And like on a road bike, it's probably like 340, 345. So like I've got a lot better in a year, obviously, because I after my crash, I was really, really bad. But so I don't think I can complain. I think it is what it is. Like for me to gain a minute and a half on this, okay, my position needs to be a lot better. Um, I think, I think I need to sort it out a little bit. I don't think it's bad necessarily at the moment. It's not like great. But I think I could get it slightly better and I just need more watts. Like the lad James who, who bin me, he did like 25 more watts than me in similar sort of size. So that's what I need to do, just just gain watts, which is fine, I think I can do that. I think, you know, my 20 minute power, my road bike, we'll get back, back up to 350 and maybe on the TT bike for one of these efforts, I can do 330 for 20 and then maybe 310, 315 for 
an hour would be pretty sick for a t for a ten uh, for a twenty five. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it is um, in the future. I've got some TT events this year. Um, I've got exams, so I'm not making too many videos or TTs, but or training much. Um, but yeah, we'll be back uh, on some good numbers. Going to the gym again, which is good. Hopefully, make some gains. This is going to be an interesting video as well. Um, so yeah, and we've got 25 here, so it should be good. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Long old ramble, but should be a good one. Anyway, see you in the next one.